<laughs> good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time of the day you're watching this, and I know you're like, what? Where has she been? Um, living life, I guess you can say. I wanted to first come and say hello. It's been a long time. Well, if you're first watching this, you're like, what's she, what's she talking about? It ain't a long time. But I wanted to just update you all on my life and my locks and some things that I'm going to be doing a lot differently with my channel. It's still going to be geared towards um, natural hair and giving you all tips and ideas and things, letting you all know things that I'm trying with my locks but I'm also going to start telling you all about some entrepreneurial adventures that I have embarked on my life has changed dramatically since the last video that I've done one of those things being that I am no longer in corporate America so now my locks are free to do what Ever the Hello Kitty they want. I don't have to worry about constantly retwisting to make sure that I'm looking the, the part or I am giving them what they want, so to speak. I'm free to be me. So I was let go from my job in corporate America and it kind of put my back against the wall, which caused stress, which affects your hair. So I wanted to give you all an update first on my locks because that's the sole purpose of this channel. Well, that's one of the main reasons why I started this channel is because of my locks. As you can see, they're growing. Um, not like all the way down my back to my butt. Well, they, they are, but they have given me so much uh, patience and learning because I am year eight. <laughs> I made eight years, January 13th of 2017, and I'm still happy with my decision. Some of the things I've been using on my locks since reaching that eight year mark is Jamaican black castor oil. I have to swear by it. If I and my one, that's my little rebel lock. Jamaican black castor oil, I will not ever go without again. I went 2016 trying the rose water that I learned from um, the uh, Yanni, the lockologist. I learned about rose water from watching her YouTube videos here. And I, I strayed away from using my Jamaican black castor oil and I noticed a lot of thinning. So I'm at the stage right now at year eight where it's compressing as well as at a growth stop. But I know it's because of diet and stress and a lot of things that, a lot of factors that go into your hair. And sometimes we don't even realize. But um, I've been using Jamaican black castor oil. I also came up with a daily spray to use on my locks. I've taken a ball jar and I've poured in, I took a bushel of rosemary because rosemary is good for your locks. Let that soak in with rose water and lavender for about a week. Put it in a small spray bottle and that's what I've been using on my locks for the past, since January, since January 28, 2017. I also have another um, factor that is allowing my hair to dry and to change texture. I am currently six months pregnant with my daughter. I finally am getting my daughter. I have three sons, a set of twins, and a 19-month-old. He's 19 months. He will be two in August. And now I have um, a beautiful daughter to bring into the world. 
this is it. <laughs> This is the final baby. So with this pregnancy have been a lot more, not stressed I would say, but it's a lot tougher. I, I will let you all know that this pregnancy has been whoa. When I tell you I'm sick constantly and I'm nauseous all day, it's finally subsided at 27 weeks. Finally, it's subsided, but my hair is taking a huge toll, toll on um, this pregnancy, during this pregnancy. So, um, like I said, I've just incorporated the Jamaican black castor oil back into my regimen. My regimen is so simple, and I've learned that from T-Bay 82. Keep it simple. I've narrowed it down to three products, and I'm, I'm loving it. All I do is wash it. I have tried several of the Shea Moisture shampoos as well as um, there's another one, Carol's Daughter, that I re recently purchased that I'm going to try when before I go to Dallas, Texas. I'm traveling to Dallas, Texas in two weeks and I'm gonna do my locks for that. But basically, honestly, what you're seeing right now is what I've been giving the folks. <laughs> I'm here in Atlanta, if you know, as you know, and that pollen is starting to come back. So I'm not doing too much to my locks, just washing them, letting them dry with a hand, a hand dryer because I did not want to experience mildew or smell by letting them air dry and it's winter. But now that it's summer, I may try again with the air drying but as you can see there like i said you really you probably really can't see how um if you follow me on instagram which you should i post pictures on there my family my locks my life so um check me out i'm at miss kamiko it's on one of these i'll put it somewhere <laughs> going through this journey losing my job i've started my business my own tax um, finance consulting business. So yay me, it's called Eclectic Financial Services and I can service throughout the states. I have my preparers tax identification number if you're needing your tax preparation done. I also um, work year round, so if you have a small business and you want to sit down and talk and we go through things, uh, your, we go through your financial statement to see how we can save you more money. I, I am so excited. I love being my own boss. The first thing I've been doing, I've been investing. I have not regretted any investment I've made within my business over the last couple of months and you should not either i've also kept a positive outlook on my life because i'm having a baby so finally my daughter i just wanted to come and tell you all i'm doing good i'm having another baby so follow me on instagram i am also on facebook naturally you naturally me you can set an appointment there for your hair as well as eclectic financial services you can set an appointment for a consultation or a tax preparation service because you have to April 18th anyway. I will try to get back on here and do some more videos fairly soon. Like I said, my channel is going to make a change. I'm going to start doing some videos here just encouraging you to stay positive, doing some videos to encourage you to save your money and invest in yourself and don't look back so hit me up in the comments below let me know how you're doing what you think any ideas you have for any videos and i'll be here deuces <laughs>